Jones. Tonight, from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Taylor Heineke and the Washington football team. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Washington football team. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. DeAndre Carter returning it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Washington offense ready to take over. And you see Taylor Heineke at the helm in his second season with the football team. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. Fought for every chance he's had in this league. Attitude, determination, those carry over to his teammates very well. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And here's a give to Gibson. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now Heineke. Got his target, Samuel. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here's big. Heineke on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short after the incompletion on first down. It's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and short yardage, Heineke. And that one caught. It's the rookie, Deami Brown. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 39. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. you still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On first and 10, Heineke. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's gonna be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They wanna run the football, but that means they probably wanna run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A handoff for Gibson. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Heineke. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Well, here come the Eagles on offense, and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise, had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year, and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. Go! 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Miles Sanders first carry of the game and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts. Hurts fumbles it. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines, you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Heineke to throw it. That's Samuel caught left side. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete still a couple yards short of the first as the three yard gain brings up a third down some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day Washington on third down they've been okay two for three thus far here it's third and two and he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Flush to his right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. From the two now, second and goal. Gibson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Antonio Gibson taking it in from two yards out. And Washington going to add on to their lead. Just power football there down near the goal line. 
Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Point after here coming up. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Five plays there on that drive, and it's culminated by a two yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He'll buy some time right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. Ten-nothing, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to again amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Here's the Eagles' new punter for 2021, Aaron Sipos, to punt it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now here we go on the next drive for Washington. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Heineke now looking to throw on first down. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. 
from the shotgun. It's Heineke. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. What's up, man? So 15 yards on the face mask. Going to put him all the way up near midfield. And that's a mistake in the same way that a broken tackle or a missed assignment is a mistake. You've got to be smart enough to know not to get that hand up anywhere close to the face mask because they're going to get you every time. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Off the play fake, Heineke. And he's going to get this inside the 30. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Heineke letting one go deep for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and ten. To the air again, Heineke. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Heineke now. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. for the second time tonight this field goal unit comes out here he hit his first now this from 43 and his kick is right there it's good and that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing no problems in the field goal department so far he's two for two Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. First and ten, it's Hurts. He'll find the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Let's go. 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 44, Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 34-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. see the football first and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter and right out of the gate they face what you think could be a pretty important drive I would say so you know they're down two scores that's not the end of the world it wasn't the strongest of first halves 
But for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Only needing two yards on second down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Hurts fumbles it, and it's Washington that scoops it up. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Problems there on the option and a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know how we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football and they're swinging pads at him and the brooms are out and they're trying to poke at the football for ball security. I have a feeling next week there'll be an extra session of that each and every day. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge, a successful one. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. Throwing his hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, and there you go. But first down hurts. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. From the 45 on second down, Hurts open right side complete to Rager. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Now Sanders. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second and two. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Rolling to his right. Hurts fumbles it, and it's Washington that scoops it up, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Ready? 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Looking to throw, Heineke. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. Give him nine there on the first down completion. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room Charles with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard a sack like that maybe that can get them going yeah you have to believe exactly what you just said that they got together and said let's be some change agents here let's go ahead and turn things around let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game They'll run with Gibson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. A throw left side caught here by the tight end Bates. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. Working out of the gun, here's Heineke. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Washington on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. That one caught by the tight end Bates. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine.
Here's Heineke. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Heineke. Caught on the slam. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Throwing. Heineke. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll try to run with Gibson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, his second touchdown of the night. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Hurts fumbles it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Excellent. 
So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. They'll set up a throw. And this is caught by Watkins. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Right now, right now. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. On the return, Carter. 51 yards on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Washington offense back out there with this lead and the football things obviously looking good, but maybe... You know, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them. Protect them. Take care of the ball. Move it downfield. Run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Gibson again. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Tressway now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Here's second and a yard. They'll set up to throw. Open man has got it to tight end. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. First and 10 right at the 20. Back to throw again. Flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. So from the 17, here's second and seven. He'll look to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Philadelphia, good night, everybody.